Hello, my name is Osman, and this is my first tutorial. Uh, in this video, uh, I will try to show you bond basics and you working with bonds. Uh, Alright, let's start. Let's create bond uh, in the create menu, systems, uh, click the bonds button, and uh, start by left clicking. Uh, uh, while clicking just click uh, as much as uh, you want to joints how many joints you want uh, all right two is enough for me and right click to stop uh, creating and you'll see the bones button still active right click again so uh, it's okay Uh, this is the named uh, bond one. This bond two and bond zero. Bond one uh, is the parent, uh, the others. When I uh, double click it, uh, the all child objects, child bonds, uh, is selected. And uh, bond two is parent uh, of bond three. When I double click bond two, the uh, all childs selected. Uh, when we click and move the first bond, uh, the all uh, bonds are moving. Uh, in the when I click and move the second bond, only the second uh, and uh, its child bond is moving first bond isn't moving just uh, rotating uh, changing the axis to the uh, second bond and uh, again uh, and bond this uh, bond tree is also can be called uh, and bond uh, we actually use the and bonds to move the bonds all right uh, there is another method uh, to work with bonds in the animation menu click the bond tools and here uh, bond tools window open uh, we can uh, create bonds here too and uh, edit bonds uh, I want to talk about some uh, these buttons utilities in the bond tools uh, there is a remove and delete bond to uh, button uh, the difference is uh, remove bond uh, delete bond is deleting uh, the select bond and the others bond uh, are uh, don't want changing and uh, just under that remove button uh, is removing the selected bond and uh, linking the uh, end bond and uh, first bond this is the difference and uh, I can define bonds here as I want some joints and we can connect bonds here uh, you can see uh, the two bond group is uh, isn't linked it's separate there but uh, I can uh, connect two bond groups together with connect bonds here uh, a connection bond uh, created by the command and this works just like the uh, basic uh, bone bonds this is the spawn connect bond 1001 uh, is parent of this once when I double click 
I can see uh, the child's of bone and uh, this must be the parent of all bones when I double click the all bones uh, is selected and when I double click this uh, just uh, its parent uh, its child's these bones alright um, just delete these bones Mm, we can mirror the bones clicking mirror setting offset uh, we can change the axis and uh, the mirrored bones named uh, same here bone 1, 2 and 3 Bone 1 mirrored, bone 2 mirrored, and 3 mirrored. Uh, they are not affected by the uh, parent or linked the main uh, bone groups. Alright, um, we can adjust the uh, width, height and taper values uh, in here menu I can uh, adjust the width and height and taper just like this uh, and also I can double click and change all of them bubbles or just two of us two of them here uh, I can uh, add side fence here yeah. size and the taper and uh, uh, I can add front fin and the back fin also uh, well I want to talk about um, resign root command here yeah. Uh, to do this, just uh, I'm creating simple uh, bone group and maybe some bigger size. Right, uh, as you uh, see, uh, this is the parent of the bone group. Uh, I can move from here all the bones. And this is the end uh, bone. Uh, when I want to change the root, uh, just click to reassign root. Uh, for example, reassign root, I say, and then uh, the direction is changing of the bones. And uh, this uh, be it is being uh, the parent of the group, new parent of the group. Um, by double clicking I can check this uh, you see all the bones child objects uh, also selected and uh, this is the end bone now this is our new uh, parent bone just uh, we can move it just like the other yeah this is our new uh, end bone and uh, we can delete this end bones uh, if we don't need uh, and uh, we can create end bones uh, if we want again here more end bones if you, how much you want you can create end bones and maybe some here too uh, yes, uh, create bonds only. Uh, end bonds only uh, can be created uh, after the end bonds. This is the first bond of our group, and we can't create end bonds. All right. Uh, when we look at the bottom uh, of the bond tools menu, uh, there is object properties that we can adjust some more properties of bonds. 
For example, if you want uh, to have a muscle-like bones, uh, we can adjust this here because uh, uh, the bones uh, length is frozen now. It's not changing. I can, I can change. Uh, to adjust this, just uncheck the freeze length, and now it's changing. Uh, and for a real muscle-like bone effect, uh, we must uh, choose that the bottom squash method. And now the bone is squashing. If we choose none, then uh, bottom scale of squash is not affected, but only uh, direction is changing here, as you can see. And we can uh, reset stretch and uh, scale clicking its buttons.